Kitchen Cadets, welcome back to Tommy Time for your mower maniac snow mower video today. I'm working on my 2002 Honda CRV. It's got the 2.4 liter. I have 205,000 miles on this outstandingly built vehicle. Recently, it's been running rough. I went out to breakfast today with my son, Uncle Brad, and my brother. And what this thing's been doing is it's started up. It's been missing. I've been getting codes, uh, multiple cylinder misfire, and I've also gotten cylinder two and three misfire. So I kind of cleared all the codes. And uh, this time around, they came back. I decided to look at each one individually. And one of them was a P0661. Um, <clears throat> intake manifold, tuning valve, control circuit, low circuitry or low is all that the description gives. If you Google P0661, that's what you're going to get. Tuning valve, control, low. So Ricky Adamus has a, a video on this. He shows you what the code is in the location. I just want to highlight on um, or expand on Ricky's video. I'll put his link down below. So I took off the, the beauty ring here and I'll show you. It's just two 10 millimeters. What I wanted to do is remove this hose out of the way to make it easier. So a lot of people comment on Ricky's video. He tried to explain where the connection was. I think I can get the camera to point it out. Where this thing is located. Okay, I have a, a pen with a green tip. So you can see right here the end of the green pen that's the connector that's where it plugs into so this piece under here is held on with one 10 millimeter nut I believe in order to change this thing out if if you have to you got to remove the intake manifold or possibly the um, power steering pump that would give you access to the 10 millimeter nut if you do the manifold route, just Google that or go to YouTube and look up intake manifold removal. If you're doing the starter, a lot of people said on the comments on Ricky's video that they just had the starter done and whoever did it, maybe the shop or the homeowner forgot to plug in the, the plug. So I'll show you what it looks like. It's a three holer. And it's got a little try to manipulate this thing where it stays put. The thing with car manufacturers, they just make the cable long enough to go into the position it's got to. There's no extra slack every millimeter of copper wire is accounted for but here we go you see the little push tab here well it'll go into that black connector to get it out or push it in push it in is easy you don't have to push the connector it'll click itself but to get it out you push this little tab here and pull it unlocks a little notch there in the middle of that hole so push down on that little tab and pull it requires two hands. What I did is use one finger to push this, and in my other hand, I gently pulled on the um, wiring harness back here as I was depressing the gray tab there. So, it's going to looking straight on like this. It's going to look something like that. An oval with the 
tab on this side so you'll be able to reach your thumb here and then with your right hand pull on the three wiring harness and it'll come off but this is the position that sits in sideways so i found putting this hose down out of the way gave me a little space because it was kind of blocking the access so put your clip in and then put this back up here where it goes and then your beauty 2.4 goes back on so i just wanted to just highlight because I, I thought i could sh show you here with the little manipulation so here here it is right there you can see the two tracks on this corresponds with the tracks that line up with the gray connector so there you go S sits up up and down the uh, thumb tab to the outside Hope that helps you guys out if you've got the 0661 OBD2 code. Thanks, Ricky, for your initial video. I just wanted to point out for those that couldn't find it. There it is. I hadn't seen anybody that said this thing was bad. Most of the people said, oh, it, it forgot to get plugged in. So I don't know how mine came loose. I did the starter like six months ago, and I've been running it ever since. So I don't think I could have ran it six months with that disconnected. So I I'm not sure what happened. But it was running rough. I just started it after I cleared the code, and we're, we're smooth, no engine misfires the, the funny thing would be like some mornings it would start fine and i drive it and then in two or three days it would start funny and start missing then the next day it would start fine so it seemed to be an intermittent thing on the p0661 it wasn't a daily occurrence so it did feel like um like an engine miss like it was running on two or three cylinders just real boggy when it did act up anyway hopefully this helps you out thanks ricky for your initial video this is just a little act to add to it what it looks like three prong plug and how to get it off adios amigos don't do a lot of honda videos because the the damn thing doesn't break down very often so <clears throat> Anywho, you guys have a good day. Tip you waitress and waitstaff. Thanks for coming out. Adios, amigos.